Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Now that it's October, my favorite month of the year, it means we can get started on drawing a bunch of spooky Halloween themed characters like vampires, mummies, werewolves, and... Witches? That's right, Inky. We're gonna draw a witch. Are you excited? Heck yeah! Then let's do this. Sometimes I like to start off my drawings with a quick sketch. I'll show mine in time lapse. You're drawing fast. It's time lapse, Inky. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now that I'm done with my sketch, I'll go over it with marker. First, you draw the eyes. You know what a witch's favorite school subject is? What, Inky? Spelling. Then I'll move on to the next one. Then, you draw the eyebrows. They look like this. Two very thin shapes right next to each other above the eyes. Then, you can move on to the witch's pointy nose. You draw a line like that with a slight indentation there. Move the line up. And then, you can move on to the mouth. I like to draw a little dot there. A beauty mark, or a wart for an evil witch. Then, for her head, you can start drawing a few lines like this. You can draw her ear, which has a line through it like that, and another ear. I like to give my witch one diamond e earring like that. It's probably an enchanted amulet. You can draw the hair like this. A bunch of squiggly lines that end there where a hat should be. You can draw a line going there. And a few more squiggly lines like that. Then you draw a line going down like that. You know what the problem is with twin witches? What? You can never tell which witch is which. You can draw a few lines that connect the hair like that. Draw two lines there. And then for her necklace, you can draw another shape at the bottom. For her hat, you can draw a big line that loops over like this. And a rectangle shape like this. And a big curly shape up there you can fill in in order to make her hat. To start on her torso, I like to draw a line there, another curved one there, and a line there for her first shoulder. Then for some lace, I like to draw a bunch of little curved lines like that. For her second shoulder, I draw a slightly curved shape like that, and a few more curved lines for the lace on her other arm. Then I draw a line down like that, and sideways like that, and another one there that's sort of L-shaped and forms a right angle. Then, for her fingers, I like to draw a bunch of tiny shapes right next to each other. And a very long line here. And another one right next to it. And a zigzag line at the top. You know what you call a witch's garage? What, Inky? A broom closet. And for a broom on the bottom, I like to make it look like this.
then I draw a few lines there so it looks like it's wrapped up a little and I draw stripes on her arm for her glove and I draw a line there as another part of her shirt that connects like that her skirt has a long line that goes all the way down there with a slight gap there for her hand and a line that connects it and a few more of those smaller lines for her fingers then for her arm I draw two curved lines and a few more stripes there I like to draw a cool spiderweb design on her skirt. Witches like spiders because they're a good ingredient for potions. Then for her legs, I draw a curved line down like that and another one there. And a line there. And another rectangle shape there. A line that goes down like that. A line that goes down like that. Two short lines connected to them. That curve up to form little re rectangles and a triangle. And a curly shape on both. Then, I draw these triangles here for her laces. Now, you're done with your witch. I'm going to erase the lines from the sketch and then color mine in time lapse. That's it for this witch. If you have any spooky suggestions or any other kind of suggestions, you can email me at drawingwithinky at gmail.com. Anyway, hope you had lots of fun. See you next time. Later. Wait, where'd she go?